Welcome back guys to Fish and Grills. In this episode, we're gonna be cooking up two different taco dishes. One with garlic butter and one raw taco poke. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> This episode of This is the Hawaiian Reef Octopus, a very intelligent, complex ocean animal. It has the ability to change its color and textures within milliseconds to camouflage itself to blend in with the reef. It's also been known to mimic fish and crab. The legal regulation size of an octopus here in Hawaii is one pound. As you can see here, holding onto it, we're able to measure it with our hand, and it's looking just like a pound or under. So it'll be let go to live another day. You know the saying, let them go, let them grow. And did you know all octopuses are poisonous, but most don't have enough venom to affect a human. Their venom is used to inject into crabs, making their meat like jelly, and allows them to suck it out of their shell. Octopus are one of the more sustainable creatures to harvest from the ocean. They reproduce quickly and grow about a pound a month on average. The octopus also has the ability to regenerate limbs. As you can see here, it purposely allows itself to rip one off so that it can try and escape. But not this time. We're gonna be cooking it up. Hello, thank you for tuning in everybody. Tonight we got a simple but delicious taco dish we're gonna whip up for you guys tonight. Butter garlic, all we're gonna do is do butter garlic, oyster sauce, and taco for a butter garlic taco. And for our raw taco poke, all we're gonna need is Hawaiian salt, limon kohu, and sesame seed oil, and some green onions to make it all pretty and taste pretty good. So yeah, stay tuned, we get the ingredients, take it back home, whip it up, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Aloha, mahalo for tuning in everybody. We have our taco here and all of our ingredients ready to go. First, we're gonna clean it. And what I wanna do is take everything out in one piece. Stay tuned to find out how. First, I'm gonna come up here. Okay, open. Find the middle. Middle right here, straight down. Rip open. Exposing the beak. 
Show you that a beak. I'm gonna come up in the middle here. Get it off the sucker. I wanna save this sucker. Sucker is good meat. Okay, now I'm gonna slowly peel it off the skin. Just work your way all the way around. So you have any still in one piece? So I have the sucker right here. Just rip that to the side. Okay, I'm gonna put it on just a little bit, exposing the eyes. Eyes is right under here. Slowly cut down. We have visual eyes, everybody. Okay, for me, I'm gonna cut off the side walls, the beak, eyes right here, the side. Let's go to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna slowly peel the beak off from the skin. Slowly cut off the eyes. Beak, eyes, rest of the body. One piece. Perfectly cleaned. No beak, no eyes. Ready to put in the pot. Now that all the guts are out, let's make it soft. Now how we do that is, we just grab it. Since we have three, we try to get all three with one hand. All right, we're gonna simply just go up and down, up and down. Okay, this is not rocket science. This is all it is. Up and down, maybe six inches. Okay, this what this, what this does, it gets out all the slime and it makes it soft when it cooks. Makes it easier to eat. Or you could cook it longer, but this cuts the cooking time of it. So it's just go up and down, thousand reps. You wanna go 20 or 25 each side. Switch. See a lot of foam that's coming up from the squid. There's a lot of slime. Keep going. Okay, now that you see all the slime coming off, see all this quick foam, you're gonna start seeing the legs start curling. That's how you know you're doing, you're hitting the right spots. A little bit more to go. Keep going. $9.99, 1000 Okay, now it's time to rinse it off, put it in the pot, cook it up, group it all together. All right, now that everything rinsed off, I'm gonna cut it into, cut it off the legs so it cooks faster. All right, now that everything's in individual legs, let's spark it up. Put it on high. So we go about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes until it gets soft. We're gonna take it out, chop it up, we're gonna put it back in the pot, add in ingredients, butter, garlic, oyster sauce. Boom. All right, here we are. It's been in the pot for about two minutes so far. So the legs start curling up, changing color. So this is gonna be in there for about half an hour to four to five minutes, really for texture. So there's a trick. Fork. 
if you can't go all the way through by just poking it, then it's ready. So it's only been here for a few minutes, so it's not even close. But this is how you check it. The fork, regular fork, just poke on the thickest part of the leg. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit longer. Turn on the fire. Let this get, let this get nice and soft. Let's work on a raw taco poke. So, you wanna go with the smaller ones. It's about a pound, pound and a half taco. Pound it extra longer. So what we're gonna do with this is gonna cut it extra, extra small, like real tiny. Okay, then we're gonna mix it with some sesame seed oil, some inamona and some limokobu, which I picked earlier. This type of seaweed in Hawaii we call limu kohu. It means pleasing seaweed in Hawaiian and is a very popular addition to poke and raw fish dishes. It's part of the red algae family and can be found in the warm shallow waters across the Pacific Ocean. It's very strong and pleasing in smell and adds a nice crunch and flavor to every bite. And as always, take what you need, not what you see. Okay, limoko. So this, Hawaiian salt, sesame seed oil, inamona, raw taco poke. Extra small. Look at that. See how small that is? It's all you like for. Cheeks. Super tedious, but it's really worth it. Alright, now that we have our really small chopped up raw taco, let's add in our ingredients. First ingredient, the sesame seed oil. Inamona. This is actually cocoa nut. A final ingredient, the limoko. So after you picked, cleaned, rinsed, and bought up free, um, picked, cleaned, rinsed, bought, freeze. Now we're gonna grade into. A little bit chili book flakes. Mm. Yep. Good, perfect. All the jar fruits. Wow. It's good. Yeah. That's be soft. Yeah, it's good. Not too chewy. Good flavor. Just try it. Let it let it try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Raw taco poke sample. This is just about soft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the fire and let it sit in here for another 10, 15 minutes. Just be ready to, ready to whip up. All right, so while we're waiting for our taco legs to cool down so we can chop it up to make our butter garlic taco, we're gonna experiment 
with kala, I've heard of people microwaving their kumus and hot oil garlic after and stuff. So what we're gonna try, and this, you know, I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? We're gonna like, microwave these for five minutes and see how it comes out. We're gonna wrap it with some saran wrap. Put it in the microwave for five minutes. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't explode. Oh, that's right, yeah. Gotta make holes. Gotta make holes inside. Hey, uh. Oh, so you can do some damage, yeah? <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. First slice, it took out a freaking finger. Okay, we're gonna leave the tail for ventilation. Everything is else covered. All right, here we go. Drop a like on this video for good luck. <laughs> Mercy, let's get this goal. Five. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, looks not bad. Oh, oh the head <laughs> fell off. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro. Okay, we know she's cooked good. The head just fell right off. The face fell off. What? Meat is really soft. <laughs> the skin's coming off real nice. This could be something guys, or it might be onto something. Meat's cooked all the way through. Okay, this is for the... This is like a good color. Mm. Hey everybody, let's put some sauce on this thing. Let's go. Ready to try. That's not bad. Microwave power now. Microwave friendly. No. How much do you need? Five. Oh, good. She's fresh, Edible. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now I can try. Now that everyone else did. <laughs> That's what I was just seeing on camera earlier. Oh yeah. Oh, it's cooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably wouldn't microwave fish that often, but yeah, she go. Cooked. Okay, my legs are cooled down. Let's take it over here and start chopping it up. Mm, pretty soft. That's how you know the soft you know, and grandma that can chew. Mm. Alright, now that everything's all chopped up, I'm gonna empty this out. Put this back on the fire with the butter and garlic. How much butter? Use the whole thing. Ooh. 
can already smell the butter, the garlic is cooking. Ooh. Ooh. So we're gonna let the garlic cook a little bit, let it turn a little bit brown. We're gonna add in our taco pieces, then we're gonna top it with oyster sauce. Get our main ingredient. Let's turn down this fire a little bit. Where's the sauce? How much that? One time around, he says. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Extra saucy. <laughs> Let it cool down for a minute, ready to serve. Okay, now that it's cooled down. Mmm. Kato says, mm. soft, delicious. Mm -hmm. For our final product, guys, this is our butter garlic taco topped with oyster sauce. All we have is taco, butter, garlic, oyster sauce in this. Simple but delicious dish. Here we have on our left is our raw taco pokey. Cut into very, very fine fillets. Topped with sesame seed oil, inamona, Hawaiian salt, and limokohu. Okay, very delicious. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode. We had the raw taco pokey. It came out thin slice and good. My favorite was the garlic butter taco. Super good. And the five minute call up microwave experiment. Perfect. Make sure you guys tune in to the next episode of Fish and Grills. Yeah. <laughs>